so much drama this week. We're talking about Logan Paul addressing the moldy cheese. Him and KSI sat down to talk about Rosanna Pancino. KSI is revealing he had a crush on her. It was crazy, you guys. They are certainly not handling this like how a normal CEO of a company really would or like a face of a company usually would. But their whole thing is that the brand's getting talked about and that's all that matters. But oh, we're going to get into that drama. Plus, Trisha Paytas is talking about Colleen Ballinger and this book that she is writing. And we're also going to be talking about the Brianna Chicken Fry and Zach Bryan breakup because Dave Portnoy has come out to say his real true feelings about Zach Bryan and he does not like that man at all. So there is clearly so much that we have to talk about. So let's spill on everything that is going on right now. Let's start with this Brianna Chicken Fry and Zach Bryan drama because this has taken over the internet this week. If you haven't heard by now, Grammy winning singer Zach Bryan and influencer Brianna Chicken Fry, which is not her last name, but I will say that with this story going around, I did crack up at Us Weekly writing an article about whether or not Chicken Fry is actually her last name. But anyway, her and Zach have been dating for over a year now and they suddenly broke up this week. Over the weekend, people saw Zach on the dating app Raya and he he deactivated his Instagram and then came back Tuesday to share on Instagram that they had in fact broken up. He posted this long thing on Instagram about it, confirming it. Brianna shared she was blindsided by the post, sharing her own on Instagram and then a YouTube video where she was very emotional saying that they broke up just the night before and she could not believe what was happening. I'm at the point where it's like, how can you give someone everything and like love him so unconditionally like through stuff that you shouldn't um because you just love them and you want them like you see the good in them um like how can you oh this is so embarrassing <laughs> um i don't give a fuck how can you like give every ounce of yourself to someone and then like be discarded of in a few days. Um, it's really, really heartbreaking. In the days that have followed, people have been looking at Zach's past relationships, calling out a pattern of behavior getting a dog, buying a house, and then breaking up with them. Brianna has been in a lot of controversy in the last few weeks as well, so people weren't exactly in a place of loving her when this all went down. So not everyone has been very sympathetic in the comments towards her, but most people do believe that Zach is the one with the problem here. And Dave Portnoy was making that very clear when he went online this week to talk about the fact that he never liked Zach. I was never a liker, how do you like that? I was wow. never a liker. I think he's a fraud. I, I like every time I met him, I was not comfortable with him. Like I, he was old, he, he just didn't he doesn't look dick? quite easy. No, you certain guys where you're like, okay, I I, I kind of like this guy. He's a good vibe guy. This guy never gave that vibe to me. And there's a Did story. Did you tell Bree that at the time? I think Bree knew I didn't like him, but that's I know. A tough spot though. A tough spot. Yeah. Like they listen. They broke up prior to this. How about like this? And it seemed just as bad, and then they were back together. You hate the guy though. I'm not a fan. Dave also revealed what happened at the Golden Globes because fans who pay close attention to Zach and Brianna's relationship or just the BFFs podcast in general noticed that when she was at the Golden Globes, Zach had unfollowed her and they wanted to know what kind of went down there. And Dave was opening up, basically saying that Zach is an insecure baby and that the whole thing was ridiculous. Bree goes to like the Golden Globes and Zach's not there. And I think Brie, I'm paraphrasing, was interviewed on the red carpet, like anybody you're excited to meet. And it was some famous, like awesome looking celebrity. And I think she's like, oh, he's good looking or like, yeah, he, he looks oh, nice. Oh, boy, he, here we go. he he unfollowed Brie on social, blocked BFFs like you insecure baby. Like she's on the gold, like the red carpet being interviewed. So he just seemed like a really immature, not confident baby. So Dave was not holding back whatsoever when it came to going off on Zach following the breakup. Imagine, imagine you guys how awkward it would be if they did get back together though. I think everyone online is like, Brianna, do not go back to that man at all. Please do not. But I mean, stranger things have happened but it would just be so awkward and uncomfortable. Speaking of someone else who was not holding back this week, and that was Trisha Paytas in talking about Colleen on her podcast this week. She was talking about the drama between Ariana Grande and Elvira after Elvira
Elvira at a fan Q&A told the story of a bad experience she had meeting Ariana Grande. And in talking about people who ask about celebrity interactions, Trisha brought up the Colleen situation because now she has an easy answer if anyone ever asks her about influencer interactions or cancellations. Somewhat thankful the Colleen situation happened because when people were like, who do you think deserved to be canceled? And I was like, Colleen. Like it's <laughs> easy because she was like yeah. awful. You know what I mean? I was like, uh, the other people, it's like, okay, we've had beef, we had drama and they're, they could be awful too. But she was like awful to, like with children. So I was like, mm, her, you know? Yeah. So it's kind of my excuse now because like, I think I canceled. They asked that. I think they're like, oh, who's like one person that like deserved a cancellation? I'm like, Colleen, obviously. And in talking about this, she said that Colleen's been on her mind a lot recently because she's in the process of writing a book and she hit the part where she is covering her internet beef. And so she has been thinking about this a lot. Like writing this book, right? And part of writing the book is like oh, doing yeah. like chapters. So like we're quickly going through like things. So like part of it is like internet beefs, right? And so like I was retelling the story and it's like, I'm kind of telling it like, I'm like this person's helping me put my thoughts together. And I'm kind of telling it like to someone who like is knows, but like doesn't. So like having to explain like the lore of internet beefs to someone who like has no idea who these people are is like so, it's so complex. And it like really takes like hours and hours of my time. Time. So I think she was like on the top of my head. Um, and speaking of Trisha and Colleen, Ariana Grande recently posted Trisha onto her Instagram story as Trisha was promoting the Wicked movie. And I just know you guys, Colleen was shaking seeing this because at one point her and Ariana were close. So I'm sure for her to see Ariana posting Trisha, um. She was probably just a little bit shooketh. Now, I don't know if they're actually still close anymore or what the deal is. They have not been seen together in years, but I just know Colleen probably had a little eye twitch moment. Now, as for Logan Paul and how he is just the worst, you guys, well, he has not been handling the reaction to his Lunchly brand well at all. His new brand that he launched last month in collaboration with KSI and Mr. Beast has been met with tons of backlash from the very beginning. Logan was very defensive of the brand on Twitter in the beginning and got into arguments with several other creators who tried to come for the brand online. But the drama surrounding the brand hasn't died down as there was recently mold found in the cheese of their copycat Lunchables product, specifically the Pizza Lunchly. Several people online have posted that upon opening the packaging, they noticed mold and were concerned for the health and safety of the young kids that they have been promoting this product to who might be opening up this product at lunch and might eat it anyway, not knowing what mold is. But instead of making a statement or taking the situation seriously online in any way, Logan and KSI proceeded to just laugh about it in the recent impulsive podcast episode that they recorded together where Logan literally says that he likes moldy cheese. Yeah, yeah, she, yeah, the, uh, yeah, like I like my cheese moldy, bro. <laughs> Yo. Rosanna Pansino gets brought up in this conversation, and you guys know she's been actively calling out Mr. Beast, holding him accountable for his actions, and she did find mold in her lunch league recently when she was reviewing it up against Lunchables. I was shooting a video comparing Lunchly to Lunchables and I opened the first package which was supposed to be good until December 8th, 2024 and we just got this one. This was fresh from the store this morning um, and there is a ton of mold in there. I honestly wasn't expecting that. I was thinking that, you know, maybe they would taste pretty similar. Um, just, you know, not have that best or better for you ingredients. And I was going to go over nutritional facts and things, but this is really concerning. So I just am pausing from filming just to take, um, a little break to show this. Uh, and I have a fork. Denise, is this okay if I use yeah, this? Yeah. But, okay. I have a fork and I'm just going to dig into it just to see. Oh yeah. Okay. That is a ton of mold. This is really dangerous. And they were bringing up Rosanna on the podcast. KSI even admitted that he used to have a crush on her and it's kind of crazy how things have turned out. But in regards to her talking about Lunchly, they were cracking up over the fact that she was probably so excited to see mold in her Lunchly. By the way, I love Rosanna, man. This is one of the reasons why I followed her. I actually had like a low key crush on her. Really? Yeah. Which do you, you interest? <laughs> Not anymore, but uh, wait, really? Uh, yeah, back. That's in the so day. endearing. <laughs> That's insane. Yeah. Now she's talking shit about your company. That's, That's crazy. No, it, it's kind of weird. How the tables have turned. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, I mean, yeah, let, she could do her thing, man. Let, let, let her do it. When she saw that, 
she must have been jumping. She, up, she must have been like, Yo. yes! So Roseanne, yes! and Bar oh my God! <laughs> and speaking of people who have called them out, they also talked about Dan TDM and the tweet that he tweeted at the time of the Lunchly announcement where he said, what happened to YouTubers, man? I can't not say anything anymore. This is selling stuff for the sake of making money, simple. How does this benefit their fans? This is selling crap to kids who don't know better than to trust the people who are selling it to them do better. And KSI and Logan talked about how this really blew up the brand and the controversy surrounding it. And he didn't understand why it's praised when Kai Senate or FaZe Rug promote McDonald's or other fast foods or Ryan Trahan makes a candy company, but then them making a snack is what gets called out. With the whole Lunchly thing, I think it was like mostly positive until Dan tweeted and then everyone's just like, oh my God, a big OG YouTuber who's just clean, you know, doesn't have any controversy is going at these guys. Yeah, we can now rally behind this and say, Logan, snacks. KSI, snacks. Snacks. Jimmy, snacks. <laughs> snacks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, bro, that it just spiraled out of control. Bro, he got like 60 million impressions on a tweet. <laughs> it's fine for a that. And it's fine for Facebook. And it's fine for uh, Troy, um, Troy, um, Troy, Ryan Trahan. Ryan Trahan. But for us, oh, we're the bad guys. How dare you? How dare you release a product? Get out of here. It's, and, it's super just weird how that works, bro. Like, I feel like YouTubers should be supporting YouTubers, especially like in the age nah, nah, influencer nah, because, brands. Because we are all doing so well, it's always like, fuck these guys. Because we're the type of people who don't stay in our lane and just keep it pushing. We're there like always trying to break out and switch it up, change it bigger, bigger, bigger. People are just tired of it. People are just like, these guys. They, you know, everything they touch is gold. Nah, then we're gonna go go after them and you know, pray that they crumble. It's clear none of the backlash and controversy though is really getting to them, especially with the way that they can laugh and joke about liking moldy cheese. I think at the end of the day, they're all just looking at this as more attention and money in their pockets, but that is what they had to say about the recent drama that has surrounded Lunchly. I wanna know what you guys think about the way that they're handling everything, plus everything else we talked about today. Let me know your thoughts. I love you guys so much, and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye, guys.